It's my lips. I'm so self-conscious about my lips. Like they're fine, but it's just this. I feel like I don't have lips. As of today, I have officially booked lip fillers. I never thought the day would actually come. I've thought about it for years and years. I've booked them before, twice actually, and canceled them because I just panicked. I listened to other people's opinions too much and that was just the reason that I would cancel them or not get them done. This time, I have thought about it for months now. I know this is a bad part and it's a bad reason for doing it, but the more and more that I look into a camera and I watch the videos back, all I can look at is my lips and how self-conscious I feel when I don't have makeup on. At the minute, I'm okay because I've got my lip liner, I overdraw them a little bit, so I'm getting them done. I am going on Saturday. I am going on Saturday, which I'm kind of scared for, also excited. I've heard it's painful, but it's a process. But this is basically it. Today is Thursday, my second last day of having skinny little lips. I will meet you guys back here on Saturday, the morning of. Okay, today is the day that we're gonna get my lips done. And I'm so scared, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm just terrified that they're gonna be huge, that I'm not gonna like them, but... This is what they look like all natural. I'm getting a mill because I think that my lips are just, especially this one, is so small. So I just think it's gonna be the best thing. I spoke to people who have just got half a mill and then they've gone back for more top ups of half a mill. And I just think it makes much more sense to get the full mill the first time. So let's go get lip fillers. Also, I'm not sure what the situation is with filming in this salon because I just don't know. I'm gonna have to ask if it's okay if I can film first. I'll try and film what I can. If not, I will just give you an update as soon as after, but I'll try and get as much content as possible with the actual process of filling the lips. Oh, I need a coffee. And I need food, I'm starving. I probably shouldn't be doing this when I need lip fillers, but whatever. Oh no, wait, I don't think you're supposed to drink coffee before, huh? It is so warm outside. I'm a little bit shocked, I'm not gonna lie. She said that they go down by 30% after like a few days. So they look really red as well. <laughs> oh, this is how I feel, but okay, so pain wise, it was nothing. Like I didn't feel it. I don't know if that's because I had the numbing cream on for like 30 minutes, but I'm gonna stop talking because no one wants to see me looking like this. So I'll give you another update later. Okay, so it is now about 9 p.m. and I got them done at 1.30. They are now swelling even more and she warned me. So you can see like all the bruising that has come up and like they're huge, it's crazy. So she recommended me to get Arnica cream and then also antihistamines. I am just using Vaseline to kind of keep them hydrated. So it says on the back of this to put it on four times a day. So that's what I'm gonna do. And this kind of removes the bruising. So I'm finding it so hard to kind of speak properly and actually to like eat and drink. I feel like I need to like drink water out of a straw now because I just can't actually like close my lips together like properly. Like it's strange. They are not sore right now at all. 
other than if I kind of accidentally close them together and kind of press them off each other then it's a little bit sore but yeah they just feel like huge and really numb and like not my lips so I'm just hoping that from tomorrow they're gonna go down and down and I'm gonna put this cream on now and it makes me look crazy and I'm gonna chill because I've had the longest day and I'm so tired and my lips feel massive <laughs> like I can't express to you like if you've never got your lips done like it just feels like not your lips it's so strange but let's hope this helps <laughs> okay so it is now four days later and this is how they are looking i feel so much better about them ignore my face because i got really sunburned but i'm still getting used to kind of how they look on my face and this morning when i was massaging them i noticed that i do have a lump or a bump here on this side so when i'm kind of down like this i can see it it's not the end of the world i'm just kind of hoping that those lumps do go away but i'm really happy with how they look like i'm not even kidding you every single photo that i've taken since friday i've loved myself like i've never felt so confident it's just it's just insane i was even talking to my friends and they were just like saying how it's changed my face like i just look different and i hope that's in a good way but i'm feeling good i just feel a bit more like proportionate Proportional. I actually don't know what that word is. Proportionate. That feels like it should be right. So you can see I still have bruising here and here. And this is where the lump is. So I don't know if you can see it, but I can definitely feel it here. And there used to be one here, but it's not really there anymore. So like I'm hoping that they just go away. I'll have to probably find out. But yeah, this is... This is me. I haven't actually done makeup yet because it's just been really hot and I haven't wanted to. So it's going to be interesting to kind of put on makeup and actually see what I'll do with my lips. Like if I'll wear lip liner or lipstick. So I might do that today, maybe tomorrow, but I will update you. <laughs> oh, and also one more thing. I've noticed in the morning they swell so much more. So it's morning time now, so they probably will go down. But I don't know, I've just noticed that. Okay, so it is now nine days later and this is what they look like. I don't have anything on them apart from a little bit of Vaseline, but I swear to you, I feel so confident and so happy. And I just feel like it makes such a difference to my face now. Like all of the swelling, all of the bruising has gone. To be honest, I've barely worn makeup because it's been so hot, but I did one day and my lip liner, I just kind of followed along the natural line of the lips now and it looks amazing i swear so this is the finished result and not to be dramatic i am so happy and i think it has changed my life this is not me pushing any sort of like cosmetic augmentation plastic surgery anything like that but listen to your body and do what you want to do don't let other people's opinions stop you from doing anything that is the one thing i would tell myself and this is the one thing i'm telling you do what you want to do <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I hope that you enjoyed watching and hopefully it was somewhat helpful or interesting. If you do have questions, definitely leave them in a comment below and maybe I'll make another video about it. But for now, this is my experience so far and thank you so much for watching.